Hey everyone, Brennan Wiltsey here. Today I am going to share with you my complete mobile photography workflow. Now, for many folks that work away from your office or in some sort of mobile or travel situation, you have very likely faced the challenge of how do I back up, process, and get my images while I'm away from my office back to my desktop or my primary photo storage location. And I've dealt with this issue as well. And after many years of trying different ways of managing my photos while away from my office, I've come up with a solution that is completely seamless for me. At the heart of this is my iPad Pro. This really is the piece of gear that allows me to back up and process my images when I'm away from my office. The iPad, has been the one piece of gear that has really made it a pleasure uh, to deal with my photos when I'm away from my home office or my studio setup. And not only is it the iPad that's key to this approach of how to deal with my images while I'm away from my office, it is also Adobe Lightroom. So this requires, this approach requires an iPad, you need Lightroom Mobile, and then you need uh, Lightroom on your computer. I use Lightroom Classic. You can use Lightroom Creative Cloud for this workflow as well. So here is basically what it looks like when I am away from my computer for me to back up, import images into my Lightroom catalog, and then get them to my computer. So I shoot primarily with the Sony a7R4. And the really nice thing I like about this camera, I'm sure other newer cameras do this as well, um, it has a USB-C port on the camera and I can import photos directly from the camera to my iPad with no additional hardware needed other than a USB-C to USB-C cable. So let's look at how that works. So I'm gonna plug my camera into my iPad here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera on. And when I do that, my camera is gonna automatically go into USB mass storage mode. And that will allow me to import the photos off of my A7R4 onto my iPad. Now I should say that I have the iPad Pro with an M1 chip and one terabyte of storage. Now this is one of the higher spec models that you can get. And of course they have newer processors now. This is a little few years old, but that one terabyte of storage really ensures that I can back up all of the images that I have on a particular shoot if I'm traveling or whatever. Um, so I'm not gonna have to worry about running out of storage on my backup device, which is my iPad. So plug the camera into the iPad, go ahead and hit uh, this little import button down on the bottom right of Lightroom Mobile and say connected camera or card and it is automatically then gonna start uh, pulling in the photos that are stored on the memory card on my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and select a couple photos that I want to import here. Some recent shots of my dog Nico and I'm just gonna hit import and it's copying those photos over to my Lightroom library. I'm gonna go hit OK and get out of that import dialog. And then if I go to look at all photos in my catalog, you can see uh, <clears throat> these photos that I just imported of my dog Nico. So this is a great way to get your photos off of your memory card and onto a backup or storage device while you're traveling. But for me, that sort of is only half of the picture, right? I ideally would also like, as I'm pulling photos off of my camera while I'm traveling and onto a backup storage device, for them to also end up on my Lightroom catalog on my laptop. And that will happen as well with this particular workflow. So if you have a Lightroom or Adobe subscription for your Lightroom Mobile and 
your desktop version of Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, you're also gonna get 100 gigabytes of cloud storage. Now this isn't a lot, and so for some this might, um, this might be a limitation. You can upgrade to a terabyte of cloud storage, which would overcome any sort of syncing or cloud backup problems that you might have. For me personally, I've with a little bit of file management, I've never had an issue with the one gig of storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and so I've imported those photos to Adobe Lightroom Mobile and because I'm connected locally to my Wi-Fi network, that it is gonna start them uploading to the cloud. And as they're uploaded to the cloud, if I come here over on my computer and I go to my catalog and say all synced photos and I give this a second. What is gonna happen is these photos, the full raw files are gonna get synced to the cloud and then they're gonna download to my uh, Adobe Lightroom Classic on my laptop in my office. And so now I've just, uh, no matter where I am, as long as I have a Wi-Fi connection or if you have a really good cellular data plan. You could do this over cellular as well. Uh, you're gonna be able to import your photos into Lightroom on your iPad, have them sync to the cloud, and then sync back to your computer back at your office, no matter where you are in the world, as long as you have an internet connection. So when I'm traveling, what I do is I often just leave my laptop turned on back at home and Lightroom open, and I know that because I have uh, it opened back at home that as I'm uploading photos during my travels or whatever remote shooting situation I'm in, those photos are going up to the cloud and back down to my computer and they're gonna be backed up and safe and they're gonna be in my Lightroom classic library when I get home, which just makes it super convenient. Now, the other benefit of this whole process is if you do or need to do any editing while you're out, traveling or working remotely away from your office, those edits are also gonna sync to the cloud and back down to your uh, computer with Adobe Lightroom Classic. So that makes that super easy and convenient as well. And then obviously you have all of the, the features uh, and everything in Lightroom Mobile so that even while you're traveling, you can edit, export, post, share, do whatever you need to do with those photos in that travel situation. And again, all of those edits are gonna be synced to the cloud and back down to your laptop, or your desktop, whatever your sort of primary, wherever your primary Lightroom catalog is. Now, obviously there is a limitation here. You can only sync 100 gigs of photos at a time. And if you're shooting with something like an A7R4, uh, this thing is a beast in terms of resolution and file size, and so you certainly can run into limitations with syncing. Now, here is how I get around that. So I don't use my cloud syncing for any other purpose than to get photos from my iPad into the cloud and back down to my laptop where I have Adobe Lightroom Classic. And so what I'll do is I'll call images on my on my laptop to basically try and keep under that 100 gigabyte of cloud storage. And personally, that has never been an issue for me in the way I shoot and the types of shooting I do. I'm primarily a nature, landscape, and wildlife photographer, so I don't generate a huge number of images uh, when I'm out shooting uh, in a travel or remote situation. And I can usually sort through those and get rid of the things that are not keepers and just be keeping, uh, basically just having the keepers go up into the cloud and back down to my laptop. And so by doing that, I can stay under that 100 gigabyte limitation. Now, if you need more storage than that, or you're gonna be shooting more than that, and certainly you can upgrade your uh, Adobe subscription to get one terabyte of storage, which would basically max out this system anyways if you're using a one terabyte uh, iPad is the device that you're syncing to. Now, the other thing that I do is once I'm done in the field, once I get back from whatever trip that I'm on, I remove all of those photos from my synced catalog. So I have my Lightroom Classic set up where it's gonna download those images into a uh, specified folder on my laptop. 
And then I can just go through and select uh, those images and right click and say, remove from all synced photos. If you do that on your desktop or your laptop, wherever you have Adobe Lightroom Classic, that is going to basically take them off the cloud, but you're still gonna have that local storage of those images. So you're basically just freeing up the space that you have to be syncing photos to the cloud from your iPad to your laptop. Now, the only thing that, you know, one, well, not the only thing, but one of the things that is a bit of a frustration or can be a bit of a frustration with this is the time it takes to sync files to the cloud and back down to your computer. Now, I just imported two raw photos from my Sony a7R 4 and in just a few minutes, they went up to the cloud and are now on my laptop. So the way I overcome this is when I'm traveling, I just, when I'm in an area at a, my hotel or Airbnb or wherever it happens to be, where I have Wi-Fi, I connect to the Wi-Fi, local Wi-Fi, I open Lightroom and I just let it sync. And yeah, if you're shooting, if you've got a couple hundred photos, that's gonna take quite a while for those to upload to the cloud, but certainly will happen overnight or over the course of a couple hours. And if you just do that every evening, the next day you're ready to go. And of course, on the other end, if you're leaving Lightroom Classic open on your computer back at home or at your office, then you know they're gonna be downloading as you're on your trip, as you're traveling, and so by the time you get back, all of your images are gonna be in your Lightroom library. So that is my mobile photography workflow. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.